Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I would like to introduce you to my version of the Colorex Enrichment Process setup. It is uh, a 12 beacon tie level setup that handles expansion automatically in the sense that uh, it always supplies additional centrifuges with the 40 or 80 uh, U235 that they need to start working. And it is circuit controlled and it can deal with the surplus, the, the fluctuation you get from um, productivity modules. All right. So let's see. What is it like? It's set up with two blueprints. I have the capping and I have the actual centrifuges. So the capping essentially what you have here is a controlling unit that determines whether or not I need to send more U235 to the um, centrifuges or whether everything should be put into these chests for the factory to use. If you already have a storage for U235 you could of course switch uh, these out, out for passive provider chests or, or active provider chests or whatever. Right? These are not wired up in any way. They just have a filter for U235 in case you have no storage yet. This box is where you will put in your jump start stacks, right? And the way it essentially works is that the belt over here, this piece, will only allow uh, U235 through if there are still centrifuges that require more of it to get started. Or otherwise it will block it and these inserters will instead um, move the the uh, U235 into the boxes. Right. And the actual blueprint is tileable, right? So you simply overlap the beacons over here and it's designed in such a way that you share the as many of the beacons as possible with other centrifuges, whether that's uh, in, in a line or whether that's uh, above or below, right? It's entirely up to you how you want to do it, but it's designed that you can just share as many of these beacons as possible. All right, the centrifuge itself. You have a request chest here, which requ requests the, um, and I'm gonna, ah, whatever, um, which requests the U238 that you need for the process, right? There's a little bit that you need of that. And the U235 gets delivered from this box to the um, centrifuge. Over here, this is the inserter that moves the jump starters into the centrifuge and this combinator down here keeps track of it. Let's just watch, see that in action. Here you can see it's counting up for every one I move in, right? This one is restricted to a stack size of one. That's intentional and has to be that we can keep our counts accurate, our final numbers accurate. As soon as we have 40, the centrifuge, start, centrifuge starts working. And by the way, since we still, so I've set up the system in such a way, and you will see that in a second, once the surplus is moved over, it is also moved into the centrifuge. And that's because I personally prefer to have 80 per centrifuge, because this way, this pause that is currently happening, happening can be avoided. Once we have 80 in the uh, centrifuge, we'll get a nice, um, we'll get a nice, uh, continuous cycle on these guys that can then work 24 7. Right, uh, once we have 80 in this counter down here, this inserter will shut itself off and not work anymore. And over here, we keep track of the items removed by this inserter and the U235 is what we save in this memory, right? We've already cycled 200 uh, U235 here. This is not how many surplus you have removed. This is just how many, well, if you divide this number by 40, that's basically how many cycles this um, centrifuges run for, right? Uh, and over here, we divide that number by 40 and get the remainder, right? And the remainder, that is the number that we use to set the stack size in here. That's how we know that, that's how we can stick to exactly 40 at a time. 
and further we also use that information together with this combinator over here to unlock this inserter when needed to remove the surplus right so every time that we have 40 uh, we end up with a output of zero here as is now the case and over here you can see when the output of zero is active then this inserter is enabled but because we don't want this to start working until we are actually done over here with the 40 we add another combinator that locks this inserter so this one is set to send a signal of one if we have a signal of zero here and if you watch this led down here closely it's kind of hidden behind the centrifuge let's just move this over here then you can see it nicer it is only for a single tick that the inserter is enabled there did you see it it just flashed green for a moment and that's because of this setup over here right it's asking for a zero it is currently well not now anymore there we currently have an output of zero therefore this should be enabled except that this one basically adds a delay and the zero signal is delivered only for a single tick that's what this combinator is for right and then you can simply go and if you decide over here it's just speed up time a little bit so it goes faster our 80 now almost so now we have our 80 since that is the case you'll be able to see now no more of the surplus 235s are getting added into the centrifuge because we have our 80 instead it's being taken by these inserters and being fed into the chests right now how how do i handle this right so i basically compare the amount of 235 that has been put into the centrifuges with a marker this is the marker set to 80 same as this and if they are equal right then we send send a control signal so 80 is equal 80 therefore we send one black square and the one black square means that these guys are allowed to pick up items whereas this one is not allowed is not is now disabled right so if you are somebody who prefers not to have 80 per centrifuge but actually rather only 40 and you instead allow the centrifuge to um, wait a couple seconds for every cycle until the 40 it has produced or 40 of the 41 it has produced are added back into the centrifuge then you could go and reduce this number and this number to 40 and you would basically accomplish exactly that right so if you decide we need more centrifuges you can simply add them to the system and because all of these have these constant combinators now sending their value of 80 here you can see over here oh we are missing some u235s in our centrifuges right therefore these inserters are blocked and this belt is enabled and any excess u235 that we have is moved into the centrifuges over here right so if you hurry up time to see that happen let's speed up some over here we can see that we're counting up right as we get our e to 35 done and one by one the centrifuges will enable and you can occasionally see this one flashing too that's because uh, of the productivity bonus of sometimes putting out too many u235s for one inserter so those basically sneak through to the next one all right okay and a final thing that i might want to mention over here you can see a little bit of surplus that's not doing anything right you have our 80 pieces in here the centrifuge is running continuously so why are these here that's basically the um the time delay between this guy realizing we are now at 80 and the final pieces of u235 having already traveled past this corner here and they're basically wandered through here 
even though we already had 80 in here. It's just they were already past the corner up here by the time that we reached the 80. You can either ignore this and say, okay, well, that's fine, because this just means that the next centrifuge I add, right, is just jump, jump started that much quicker, right? If you don't actually like it, you can just instead go and say, okay, I'm going to add a belt here. And this will just allow the surplus to recirculate towards the inserters. Right. Entirely up to you how you prefer it. Alright, thank you for watching.